Hi, my name is Amber and welcome to my channel. So today I'll be doing a hair tutorial. I'm going to be putting two braids in the front and a bun. So let's get started. Also, um, please subscribe and if you're already subscribed, please hit that bell notification so you get notified every time that I post a new video. And everything I used will be linked in the description box. So if I use a product that you've never seen before, just scroll down there and check it out. Okay, I'm going to start by taking this rat tail comb and fixing my middle part. Um, I wore this style earlier this week, so it's, you know, already there. Also, I'm working on blow-dried hair. So, uh, for this style, I definitely recommend blow-drying your hair first. Just because when your hair is stretched, you can make your bun in the back look a lot bigger. Also, if you want to check out some of my other hair looks, you can check out uh, my sleek bun tutorial, which will be up by the time this video is posted. Okay, so first, uh, as you can see, I parted right here, and I will be braiding the front. Okay, now that I have the two braids in the front, the rest is really easy. Okay, oh, also, another reason why I decided to do the braids in the front is because it lays your edges down without having to worry about it. So if you're gonna be going to the gym or you're having a really active lifestyle, you know, your hair will always look intact. Also, this can be worn in two ways. Um, you can do it half up, half down with a little bun right here. Oh, that looks, that looks cute. Um, or you can just wear it in a bun or ponytail depending on what your activity is for that day. So I like this hairstyle because it's really versatile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing the half up half down today. So just gather up half of your hair. It really doesn't have to be precise and try to smooth it through. Oh, also before I started braiding my hair and all of that, I went in with some olive oil to coat my hair to get it nice and uh, moist or to keep it moisturized and I also went in with Garnier Fructis um, just to kind of uh, sleek and shine just to keep it you know smooth so I just put in that one uh, ponytail as you can see then you have two options you can either use another ponytail holder to secure your bun or you can use a bobby pin. Um, depending on what I'm gonna be doing that day it really determines what I'm gonna be using. I tend to like the way the bobby pin bun looks better because you have more control. But if I'm going to be doing something really active that day, then I like to use the ponytail holder because it's more secure. So I'm going with these bobby pins. It's always great to have some on hand. Honestly, I go through so many. So then you take this and you pin it behind the bun. So grab the other, the other braid and pin it behind the bun as well. And it's always great to pin your hair down at an angle. So 
from this style you have so many options like this I'm doing the half up half down mm, let me put this up to some more or or you can do like just a ponytail or just a, a bun I can't get this open there we go okay let me quickly go grab the olive oil and the Garnier Fruit Tea so I can show you guys. Okay, so I took the olive oil and I put it in this container that I picked up at Target for literally like a dollar. And here's the Sleek and Shy. So as you can see, my hair definitely like sticks out a lot right here. So the olive oil and the serum that I'm gonna apply, you can see how much I'm using, not that much. You don't wanna oversaturate your hair in um, oil. So I take half of it and I just run it through like that. I really like this final look it's super cute and also when you use olive oil make sure it's extra virgin olive oil because that has all the nutrients in it when you get more refined versions um, when they do the processing of the oil it often takes away a lot of the nutrients that benefit your hair and all the vitamins and everything like that your hands will be really really oily after this but don't worry your hair will absorb the excess oils by the end of the day and by coating your hair first, it prevents breakage. You see how my hair is resting at my shoulders. I don't have to worry as much because um, it won't be as dry. So if you like my tutorial, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I love chatting with you guys. So come back soon and we can be, br we can be friends. Join the family. Bye.